Good afternoon. Today we are going to demonstrate uh, right ear stepidotomy through perinatal rule. After the infiltration of 1 in 10,000 lignoke and adrenaline, we wait for 10 minutes and then give the rosin incision with a circular knife, which is 5 to 6 millimeter lateral to the annulus. Try and give the incision bone deep and curve it superiorly. Then, with the help of a cotton ball dipped in xaloke and adrenaline, elevate the flap. Put the pressure onto the bone and then uh, elevate it medial to the annulus with the help of a knife. Incise it. When you, then you start to see the middle ear structure. You can see the long process, lentical process of the incus, the stapes, suprastructure. Then use a flag knife and reflect the flaps inferiorly and superiorly till 6 o'clock inferiorly and 12 o'clock till you start to see the anterior, the posterior margin of the handle of the malleus. You can see collar tympani, uh, lentical process, long process, tapedius tendon. Then use a curved needle and try to take out the collar tympani from its groove by gently separating it without damaging it. Now you can see the structures very clearly. Then use a curette and uh, take out the posterior part of the bone, the posterior canal wall from direction inwards outwards making sure not to damage the middle ear bone, the middle ear structures. Try and remove the bone till you start to see the pyramid. Like in this case, we can see the stapedis tendon. Some amount of uh, quarter tympani decompression needs to be done if it is hindering your access to the uh, stapedis footplate area. Gently do it and reflect the quarter tympani. We can see the complete, the full stapedis tendon and the footplate area. Check the mobility of the bone. You can see the incus moving and the stapes uh, suprastructure is completely fixed. The foot plate is fixed, so diagnosis of otosclerosis is made intraoperatively. Use a right angle pick to gently separate the IS joint. I use an iris scissor, which is a long scissor, to cut the stapedius tendon. And uh, in this case, I'm reposting the quarter tympani since I am getting a better access that way. I use a 0.6 mm skeeter bar to do a, a crotomy. You can also use a crotomy scissor. Gently drill the posterior crura which is the thick part which needs good amount of drilling. When you have drilled the posterior crura, use again a right angle pick to gently fracture the anterior crura which is the thinner part and remove the stapes suprastructure with the help of a crocodile forceps. Gently suction over the stapes foot plate area. You can see the complete foot plate. Then use a 0.6 millimeter burr and do a stapedotomy till you feel the loss of resistance. Make sure the direction, the angulation is completely 90 degree and no pressure is, is exerted. Let the burr do the drilling. This is important to avoid any any uh, subluxation of the stapes foot plate area or stapes getting fall into the vestibule. Don't suction onto the perilymph as it can lead to a sensorineural loss or vertigo, cause a vertigo intraoperatively and also post-op. Use a dry gel foam to suction on the excess perilymph. Gently remove the gel foam and you can see a very good fine fenestra 0.6 mm drill in the posterior part of the stapes foot plate area. I use a grace piston which is 0.6 mm diameter and 5 mm length. I am just measuring a, a rough measurement of how much length is required and if I need to uh, reduce the length. Open the, open the circular part of the stapes piston. Gently insert the piston with a crocodile forcer. Fix it onto the foot plate below and gently curve it onto the long process of the incus. Check the ossicular mobility by moving the handle of the malleus and you can see the entire assembly moving very well. You, as you can see, uh, then harvest a soft tissue and aerolar tissue or a fat which is important to plug the stapes foot plate area in the area of the fenestra to avoid any post-op perilymph leak which could be a cause of post which could be a cause of vertigo or a sensorineural loss which can happen post stapes surgery. Gently seal the fenestra and then remove the cotton ball and deposit the flap and check for hearing gain intraoperatively. Thank you.